I shouldn't be telling you all this stuff, but I will. Because growing on socials is fun, right? But likes are cool, but likes ain't cash. Still, I'm going to show you how to get likes. I'm going to show you what I show all the people in my coaching program and how to write content and write it fast. You might think it's going to be a little simple, but when you understand what's the logic and the magic behind it, you're going to be like, it clicks. I know exactly what to do. All right. So let's get into it. This thing that I'm about to show you was super frustrating to come up with because I had to tweet 43,000 times. I had to build so many emails and like just write so much stuff until I realized this is way simpler than I'm making it up to be. I don't need to do all this fancy notion dashboards and fancy like Rome research kind of stuff. Like I just need to do these things and it will work. So here's a framework, three step framework, very simple. First thing you do is you ask yourself who has the audience you want and you make a list. You make a list of a hundred people that do it, right? You could start with just one, but I like to make a hundred just because I like volume to be there. Number two is you filter their top performing content. You find which of the things they're posting that they're practically testing for you, which one is actually working right now. And number three, and this is where most people mess up, is you add your own experiences to it. Most people think it's just about repurposing. What that happens or what that does, it, it could work, right? That could work. But what's even better is if you add your own experiences to it. Like take into account this video. I didn't just say how to write top performing content. I said people in my coaching program and I said people and I said that I've tweeted 43,000 times. That's a long time, right? That, those are experiences that I've lived through that add depth to what I'm about to say. Because sometimes it's not only about the message, it's about the messenger. Which is why when you hear a quote unquote basic quote from someone that you don't know, it kind of, you kind of just like discard it. You don't think about it. But when you hear it from someone you really respect, suddenly it's super deep. Right? We want to establish credibility, which is why we're adding our own experiences. And you might think like, man, this is just copying. You're just copying other people. And newsflash, everybody copies each other. The teachers that changed your life didn't invent anything new, yet they still change your life for the better. And here's the thing about socials and Twitter specifically. Twitter is just saying one thing a thousand different ways. So think about what's the one thing that you want to talk about, find who's saying it, filter the top performing content and repurpose it with your own experiences. That's how you create good content that's also engaging, that's fast and that gets people's respect because eventually you're playing also the long term, not only how to get engagement, but how to build a tribe and build a following that actually wants to buy from you at some point in the future. All right. If this is helpful, uh, you can share with someone who you're growing with. Maybe you're growing with an engagement group or maybe you have some friends that are growing together. Maybe you can share this with them so you can all get better content and you can all grow together because the more one wins, the more everybody else wins. So yeah.